Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution here, and I'm here with a video tutorial on how to fully customize your HTC G2, otherwise known as the T-Mobile G2 or the HTC Vision or even the HTC Desire Z. I'm going to be demoing this review on the HTC T-Mobile G2, however. So you can get your phone to look something like this, as well as overclock the phone and permanently rooting your phone. I know it's kind of late for this kind of review since this was released quite a while ago, but I thought better late than never. So let's get started and we're going to focus firstly on how to temporarily root, so you can see here, the T-Mobile G2 slash HGC Vision. After temp temporarily rooting, we will permanently root the phone and after that we'll install a custom ROM which will allow us to overclock the phone, at least the one that we're going to be installing in this uh, video review or tutorial. So let's get started with temporary rooting. So as you can see here, we want to follow this step. And first thing we want to do is to go to the settings on the phone, go to applications and development. So applications over here and then development. And then make sure USB debugging is checked. And okay, next step that we want to do is go to the market. Well, actually, it was removed from the market, but we're going to install Visionary on our phone. So I'm going to give you a link on this website over here. But what we're going to do is click on this link that says download it from here. We're going to click on that. And I'll also give you a link um, of this website to download Visionary. And you're going to scroll down and download where it says R14. And just click the download link. Okay, and it should download on your computer. It's an APK file, so it's going to install as an application on your phone. Alright, so how we're going to get that application on your phone is that we have to plug this phone in to your computer. So take out your link cable or your mini USB cable, micro USB cable. Now I just like fling that out to the side, but we're going to plug that in to the phone. Alright, so we got it right here on the phone and plug it into your computer via USB port. Alright, so let's unlock the phone, and you'll see that USB debugging is connected, it should display on the top here. So we're going to go ahead and click on the USB connected, and the screen should pop up, probably not like the same um, design or anything, but basically you want to turn on USB storage, say OK, and then check on your computer, window should pop up open folder to view files and you'll be encountered with um, the file system of the micro SD card from your phone and then you're gonna take that file sorry let's go back to um, the internet browser and take the file that you downloaded so let's click here show in folder we're gonna go ahead and drag that onto the desktop drag it from the desktop and into pretty much any folder that you want as long as you can find it. So what I did is that I um, created a folder called APK. don't know if you can see that, but right here, APK. So I knew that was where this file was going to be stored. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop it into the folder APK and it should be in there. Okay, so when we're done, we can go ahead, navigate up here where it says computer. So you'll go to the main screen and then go to removable disk D and eject just to make sure everything's all safe with the memory. So it's safe to remove hardware. So on the phone, you can unlock it and turn off USB storage. 
All right. That's weird. Okay, never mind. Let's um unplug this then. Let's go home and plug it. And what you're going to do now is go to the Android market. Like, don't mind whatever ROM that you're on, or if you're not rooted yet or not, it's okay. Um, just go to the Android market. It's on every phone. So we're going to go ahead and search for A S T R O Astro, and it's Astro File Manager, which is this right here. And we're gonna download that. Alright, it says our file will be downloaded, Oops. and once it is, you want to go to your notifications or to your app launcher, and click on Astro File Manager. So you can do it that way, or through the launcher, Astro File Manager, and say accept, etc. And then, remember when I said you can store the... Um, APK file in any place in your phone, but you want to make sure you know where to find it. This is what I meant. So you're gonna scroll up or scroll down to the folder that you stored it in. I stored it in the folder APK, and why I want to scroll down to the folder APK in the Astro File Manager. So I'm gonna click APK, and then well I put it in twice because I'm redoing um, the steps to show in this video tutorial. So I'm just going to click on the APK file that I downloaded right here and it's going to take me to a prompt where I can browse the file or open the app manager. We want to select the second option which is open app manager and then click install and we say install okay application installed and we're done okay so let's go back to this website and what you're going to do next is open visionary so I guess I could have opened it from there but we can go home go to the launcher and search for visionary on here and it's this little triangle icon right here so what we're going to check first is check temp root on boot okay and then check system r slash w after root and then click temp root now so I've already been temp rooted and perm rooted, so it's not going to do much, but for you, it'll temporarily root your phone. Okay, once you're done, you have temp rooted your phone. Yay, this is great. So what we're going to do now is continue to gain persistent root or permanent root and S off. And S, S off, excuse me, stands for security off which means you can pretty much um, update your phone or install custom ROM without the phone having to check to see if it's an official update. Because like sometimes if you're not rooted or if you're not if you don't have S off, then when you try and install an unofficial update or an unofficial ROM, custom ROM, the phone's gonna be like, hey that's not cool. We only want official ROMs and it's not gonna let you install it. So having S off will allow you to install any ROM or update regardless of whether it's official or unofficial. So let's go ahead and navigate to the how to gain permanent root and S off in the T-Mobile G2. Alright, so continuing on here, this is when things get a little bit, um, a little more complicated, but not too much, and I'm going to wa be walking you through all this, so you'll be good. So what you want to do now is, well, we've already temporarily rooted it. So we're good with that, but let's go ahead and download the rooting files. And it'll, again, it'll be displayed as a link on the website that I'll provide in the video description. So you want to go ahead and check that. But what we're going to do is download these rooting files. And you're probably going to have to wait those like 40 some seconds for um, this link to come up. All right. So instead of waiting those 40 some seconds gonna go ahead and take a preview of what you're gonna do so what we want to do now is plug in your phone via the USB cable so take out the USB cable that was flinging around earlier 
this one and we're gonna plug it in all right there you go and the link is ready to download so let's download that unless you want to pay for a premium download I wouldn't but okay so now you can see it's really quick um, what you want to do again is show in folder and you want to move to desktop again let's take a look inside and from here you want to open it up like so and if you don't have this application um, I highly recommend that you um, go take a look or go download it. It's free. Um, it's called WinRAR, W-I-N-R-A-R, and it basically allows you to um, look inside of zip files or .rar files. Um, I guess like Windows does have like a zip explorer, but this one works fairly well, so I recommend it. You don't have to. It's not necessarily. It's not necessary for the tutorial, but yeah. Okay, so. Let's go on to the next step on the review, or on the tutorial, I mean. So what we're going to do is navigate on your phone. So let's unlock it and pull down the notification bar because it should have said, oh, the USB is connected. That should be the first option on your ongoing tax tasks. So we're going to click on that and then turn on USB storage. Say OK. Alright, so once that's done, we're going to open a folder to view the files. Alright, and then from here on out, we're going to take these files that we downloaded before, remember? Um, and we're going to select both of them. How we're going to do that is click one of them, hold shift, this button over here, and at the same time, click on the second file. So shift, click on the second file and then we can drag both of them to the root of the SD card and when I, when I say root I mean like not in any folder remember like we created an APK folder for before don't create a folder this time just drop it in and I already installed both of them so I mean I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say like move and replace alright so once they're in you want to, again, go to the computer, and then eject, and then your phone, turn off USB storage, and you should be good with files, because you don't want to, like, corrupt any of your data. It rarely happens, but it's just precaution. So, we're going to unplug the phone, alright, and then go back to the Android market, and this time we're going to search... Yes. Okay, we're going to search for Android Terminal. Andr IOD Terminal. And we're going to select the Android Terminal Emulator. And then we're going to say free. Or download. Alright. Let's go to the home.